Now, how can you know the Imam have completed his takbir? You are in the second cell, last cell. The sister will be in the other, other area. You can see the Imam. <coughs> you cannot pray and look at the Imam. No. You must be focused. Look at the place where you put your forehead. Makan sujud. But at least, you must hold on, be patient. Make sure that you wait until the Imam finishes his recitation. Allahu Akbar. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Allahu Akbar. When his recitation end, we believe the Imam have completed his movement. Because Al Bara'a ibn Azib radiallahu anhu said, when we the companions of the Prophet follow our Imam, follow the Prophet in the Salatul Jama'ah, Salatul Far, none of us move from one position to another until we are sure the Prophet have completed his movement. None of us move from standing to sujud until we are sure the Prophet wada jabtahu alal ar the Prophet have put his forehead on the ground. That means the Prophet have completed his sujud. Because sometimes the Imam may be a bit late and if you start together with his takbir, you may be ahead of the Imam. Then how can you have the reward of jama'ah? When you perform your prayer and your movement is ahead of the imam, then you commit a sin. You are not a ma'mum. You are like a imam. And the Prophet forbid us to compete in with him in our movement, takbir, ruku, wa sujud. This is very important, brother. It's discipline. Islam is all about discipline. Discipline when you eat, when you drink, use your right hand, don't use your left hand. Your discipline towards your neighbor. The Prophet said, Man kana yu'minu billahi yawmil akhla fal yukrim jarahu. Whoever believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, he must honor his neighbor. Whether the neighbor is a Muslim or not yet Muslim, they are your neighbor. Adab. Man kana yu'minu billahi yawmil akhla fal yukrim dayifahu. Whoever believes in Allah and the Day of Judgment, you must honor and respect your guest. Whether he is a Muslim guest or not yet Muslim guest, a guest is a guest. And the Prophet ﷺ reminds us again, لَيْسَ مِنَّا مَنْ لَمْ يُوَقِّرْ كَبِيرَنَا وَلَمْ يَرْحَمْ صَغِيرَنَا Adab. You are not one of us if the young do not know how to respect the elders. And the elders do not know how to love the young one. It's adab. How do you talk to the elderly people? You must have adab. Every word there's a place, every place there's a word. You have adab to the imam, to your parent. You cannot raise up your voice talking to your parent. When you want to attend dars, there's adab in majlis il. When you seek knowledge, there's adab. You must respect your teacher. One makar, one the prophet said, "Man wakara ali man fakat wakar Whoever honor his teacher, honor a scholar, he is honoring Allah. How can you get the blessing from your teacher who is going to make and ask Allah to bless you for the, spa, the time you spend with him seeking knowledge when you don't even respect him? When he talk, you talk. You don't listen. Even seeking knowledge there is adapt. 